Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore color correct filter in Substance Painter. Right now, I've got a sample file. Uh, it's a Jade Toad model from the Substance Painter sample files. I've deleted all the materials which are there with it. So I'm just using the model with uh, all the textures baked. I've uh, downloaded a couple of uh, images uh, from pexels.com. I've shared the link in the description uh, to explore the filters, uh, especially the color correct filter. So what I'm going to do is I've got a, a base layer. I'm going to create a normal fill layer. So uh, you can add filters to this fill layer or if you have any fill added, any layers or stack added to that fill layer. Above that, you can add a filter and then in filter, you can put uh, any of these color corrections or filters what you have got with you. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll try with the fill layer here. It has got the base and uh, I'm going to drag this image into the base color and you should be able to see this result okay so it's a wooden texture what i've got so you can try uh, increasing the repeats but uh, that's not really important for us now i'm going to uh, add uh, the filter to the selected fill layer and uh, in that i'm going to add this color correct filter so you have a uh, uh, color correction applied to different range of colors for of your image one is the shadow range the midtone range and the highlight range the major effect can be seen when you do something for the midtones because that covers the major part of the image. Moreover, this image is of less contrast, so midtones is the right area. So you know uh, these are the basic terms used in color correction uh, um, uh, terms actually. So when you're talking about color correction, it's all about you have levels, contrast, hue, saturation, etc. So contrast is uh, one of the popular term you come across in the color correction. So contrast will generally uh, make a clear difference between the uh, highlights and the shadows. So if you could see there is a range of colors. So when I increase the contrast, that color is clearly visible. I mean, the darker pixels become more darker and the brighter pixels become more brighter. So that's contrast. And when I reduce that, the, the image will become equalized. Um, this, the, the difference between the highlights, midtones and shadows will tone down drastically. And we have luminosity which makes the picture brighter and then we got uh, the less value for the luminosity it gives that more character to this image i could see the more darker details are you know popping up and uh, you have a saturation uh, which increases saturation level of your picture and makes it desaturate and uh, you are able to see slight tint that is because your shadows have saturation you have uh, your highlights have your saturation that's the reason it was like showing up Default value is 0 0.5 in all these ranges. So you can explore this contrast in three different ranges as I was telling you. And uh, it's all about color correction. Okay. And uh, I have another picture. Let me drop this into. And uh, okay, uh, let's try this in a different way. Maybe I can uh, add a fill layer and here I'm going to add this. Okay. And I'm going to add it in the height also. So it got some nice noisy texture. I'm going to repeat this two times. That uh, is not a seamless texture. So obviously you could see some same issues. That's not a problem at all. So I'm going to add this uh, filter. And I'm going to add color correct filter. So I'm going to choose the luminosity. You should be able to see the same kind of effect uh, being applied to your image. So you can, you can keep exploring the um, range of colors. That is midtones, highlights and shadows. And uh, the result can be seen in both height map and also the color map because I've added the same map into the both layers. So uh, even this filter can be applied if you have a mask with you. Okay. And in mask, if you have a fill and in fill, you have added this texture and here you could add the filter. Okay. And you can add uh, the same filter what we have this. So it, it is going to affect your mask only. So it will not touch your fill elements at all. So there is a huge potential in using filters and color correction is a very common requirement when you're dealing with images.